can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. You girl strapped in nice and tight now. Hatter, your mama <laughs> For me out there, Joey Ray. We got terror for sure. I don't know about the rest. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. <laughs> we hit pay dirt this time for sure. Explain to me how we're gonna get all this home. and moving toward the derelict spacecraft. Damn it, Jim. Video's out again. Well, quit picking at it. I ain't picking at it, damn it. I'm out here with a hitch in my cabin up in here and there. I don't see a rubble simply when I'm looking at it. I don't see a rubble simply when I'm looking at it. I'm in the middle of my pocket with the fish now. Hold on, I got visual. It's a damn smoke, you fucking black man. like you mashed some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he'd be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge.
Fellow Terrans, I come to you in the wake of recent events to issue a call to reason. Let no human deny the perils of our time. While we battle one another, divided by the petty strife of our common history, the tide of a greater conflict is turning against us, threatening to destroy all that we have accomplished. It is time for us as nations and as individuals to set aside our long-standing feuds and unite. The tides of an unwinnable war are upon us, and we must seek refuge upon higher ground lest we be swept away by the flood. The Confederacy is no more. Whatever semblance of unity and protection it once provided is a phantom, a memory. With our enemies left unchecked, who will you turn to for protection? The devastation wrought by the alien invaders is self-evident. We have seen our homes and communities destroyed by the calculated blows of the Protoss. We have seen firsthand our friends and loved ones consumed by the nightmare reserve. Unprecedented and unimaginable though they may be, these are the signs of our time. The time has come, my fellow Terrans, to rally to a new banner. In unity lies strength. Already many of the dissident factions have joined us. Out of the many, we shall forge an indivisible whole, capitulating only to a single throne. And from that throne, I shall watch over you. From this day forward, let no human make war upon any other human. Let no Terran agency conspire against this new beginning. And let no man consort with alien powers. And to all the enemies of humanity, seek not to bar our way. For we shall win through, no matter the cost.
are we really gonna blow this place? Only if we see a Zerg. Yeah, I got your Zerg right here. <laughs>
Hey, Sergeant! Sarge! Hey! You will immediately tell me why you have called me from my desk, Private. Protoss unit, Sarge. Coming through the South Pass. It looks broke. Kill it!
Gerard. I suspect you have a good reason for pulling me away from my duties. Your vodka can wait, my good Alexei. Come, stand here. You need to see this. I know all about this, Sir Gerard. We've all seen the tapes a hundred... You've seen nothing. Dissecting a dead Zerg in a lab is one thing. Unleashing them on men is another. You must go into this with both eyes open. Once started, there's no going back. Are you prepared to go all the way with this, Alexei? Yes. Yes, I am prepared to go all the way. My good Admiral. Good. Good. I knew I could count on you. Admiral, the colonist base will be overrun in a matter of minutes. Shall we intervene? Take us into orbit, Mr. Malmsteen. We've seen enough.
of this terrifying race once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy as our own forces now occupy their very home world of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent Overmind of the Zerg. The Overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. Once again, I stand atop the broken bodies of my enemies. Victorious, but not unscarred. The Earthborn Directorate has been destroyed, and the Overmind lies dead and trampled beneath the ashes of Char. As for my unlikely allies, I think that I shall allow them a reprieve. For in time, I will seek to test their resolve and their strengths. They will all be mine in the end. For I am the Queen of Blades. None shall ever dispute my rule again. Dearest Helena, by now the news of our defeat has reached the Earth. The creatures we were sent here to tame are untamable, and the colonies we were sent to reclaim have proven to be stronger than we anticipated. Whatever you may hear about what has happened out here, know this. Alexei did not die gloriously in battle. I killed him. My pride killed him, and now my pride has consumed me as well. You will never see me again, Helena. Tell our children that I love them, and that their father died in defense of their future. <laughs> 